Daniel Medvedev versus Stefano Tsitsipas. It's the second group match for these guys in the ATP Finals for 2022. And both guys had disappointing starts to their tournament. To start the season, Tsitsipas was at number four in the world. And with a strange mid-season slump, he recovered well to end the year off as number three in the world. His record for the season, 59 wins, 22 losses. One of the most active players this year in another massive season of tournaments played. He did make five finals, but he only won the two titles from those five finals. He went back to back in Monte Carlo and he won his first grass court event in Mallorca just before Wimbledon. His best win, he beat Daniel Medvedev in Cincinnati, who was number one at the time. A very big win for Steph, especially on a hard court and against a guy that he hasn't beaten that many times in their careers. His worst loss, though, was at the start of the year in Marseille against the 163 in the world, Sefulin, who was a qualifier in that event. Daniel Medvedev started the season off as the world number two, and as we know, he was number one in the world a couple of times this year, up until the US Open, where Alcaraz took over and Medvedev dropped down the rankings before settling down at number five in the world, heading into these finals. His win-loss record, 43 wins, 19 losses. Not as many wins as some of the other guys because he was out injured for most of the clay court season, so he didn't get a chance to play a lot of the matches while others did. And he had a very tough time in finals this year. Two titles from the five finals that he played, his only titles being in Los Cabos and Vienna a few weeks ago. His best win was against Stefanos Tsitsipas, the world number four at the time at the Australian Open, but his worst loss was against the 284th ranked Vavrinka, who was on the comeback, and that was at Mets. It's been a very strange season for Medvedev. Some highs of being world number one, but also some lows of missing opportunities. These guys have played 10 times before with Medvedev leading the head 7-3, but the three that Sitsipas has won have been in the last five matches, including their last match in Cincinnati, where Sitsipas finally got the win over Medvedev on a hard court. If Medvedev's going to win this one, he needs to be aggressive from the start. He also needs to serve as well as he did against Rublev, but he needs to get on the baseline and not just defend like he was against Rublev. Get inside the baseline, push Sitsipas around, be the bigger hitter. If Sitsipas is going to win this one, he needs to come to the net and have a lot of variety. It worked against Medvedev in Cincinnati a few months ago, but he needs to do that again. On the fast courts, it's going to favor aggression. So if he can come to the net and use that serve, it should be working. This is going to be a very interesting match because both guys are coming off a loss and they're going to be very hungry to get a win in their second matchup. But I'm going to go with Medvedev in this one. Just. I think that Medvedev is going to turn the tables on City Pass after what happened in Cincinnati. And I feel like this is going to be fireworks. Expect some crazy things to happen in this match. These guys are not very friendly to Towards each other, but let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this fireworks match.